kiss. She may never want to kiss you, okay? I mean, it just really depends. Again, these are real people. Everyone's a little bit different. Women are not as visual as us men. <laughs> not that saying that you can look like crap, but I've seen some quite unattractive guys with some super attractive women didn't know how their wallet looked like though. So talk about that, Joe. I mean, what do you think women are really looking for? Is it just the money? Is that what they're going after? I mean, All, of course women are looking for security, right? you know, but they're also looking for communication, affection. Of course, we men are more visual creatures. You know, we, see we we go on what we see more so than emotions you know the one thing about these women is uh, I, I I just I love their femininity I, I love how they're still they have have still have those you know family traditional back values and they want to take care of their man. You know, they want to do all these things that we men, we men want. Right. You know, um, they like the physical touch, guys. They they do. But I'm going to tell you right now, I don't want to hear any guy coming up to me <laughs> after the first date saying, "Well, I tried to kiss her. She wouldn't let me kiss her." <laughs> okay. Um, I'm sure you've been on a lot of dates here in America that have done the same thing. Okay, not everyone's going to kiss you on the first date. No, depends on them, really. So it's not, mm -hmm. uh, it might take two or three days. She may never want to kiss you, okay? I mean, it just really depends. Again, these are real people. Everyone's a little bit different. Doesn't mean they're all exactly the same. living in another country yeah. uh yes but of course there, there are little there are logistics that you have to watch out for if they have a child the father has to sign off things like that um but as far as the women go i mean i haven't run into too many people too many women that have actually said that they don't want to move out of the the country but it's not their first option I've spoken to many women who would rather me move over there. Yeah, sure. You know, why not? So, and you know what? Even the ones that might say, "Well, I really am not too keen on moving out of the country," they meet Mister Right. They meet the guy that yes. just knocks their socks off. They'll move to Mars. Yes, they will if Mister Right got. You know, and I see that. I see that all the time. Can't you marry the translator and allow her to work overseas? Yeah. Well, first of all, Anthony, I'm just joking. You can marry anybody you want, and we're not going <laughs> to stop you from marrying a translator. So don't take this too seriously. But if you do marry the translator and she's you move over there and she stays there and she still wants to translate, that's fine. I have no problem with that. Um, it's not me to say. It's up to you and her, right? This is your guys' life. She just works as a translator. We joke about it because it is a little bit inconvenient when we have to keep hiring new office managers and translators because you guys keep marrying them. So stop that. But yeah, it's always he secretly likes it. Yeah, well, it's always yeah. I like it when people come together. That's good. You can find thousands of stunning, sincere single women serious about finding love and the perfect man for them. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Interested? Learn more at ShenzenWomen.com If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.